think, I think I'm gonna go home now. Little mound of ants. Very sorry. Apologies. Uh, okay. Wow. Gorgeous. Another gorgeous day. Another gorgeous scenic little cute camp spot. Look at this little. Like it's just it's made for Yuki. It's just so small and cute. And I drove along this no service road forever. We're in Colorado. Don't know where in Colorado. Just somewhere. During the day, it's quite warm and nice with the sun but when the sun goes down, whew, hopefully it won't get too freezing. So we're having breakfast. <laughs> this is for the most the joyous thing that that could ever happen. Joyous. It's the most amazing thing. It's freezing. It's very cold. But my Foxy came here this morning to say good morning. I just had the most incredible night and morning with my fox friend. <laughs> but it was just so lovely. I love that. I didn't sleep the best and it's freezing right now. It was very cold last night. So I'm just gonna go chase the sun and try to get warm somewhere. But that was just Oh, I just, I love, that. I can't explain how happy that made me, I'm shivering, but I can't explain how happy that made me. The award of the worst roads to drive on thus far that I would give out is the roads here in Colorado. I don't know the roads that I'm driving on anyways, they are awful. I don't know if it's just because my Jeep, but like going uphill, I can, not accelerate enough so I had to put on my hazards and then while I'm driving and going downhill the roads are just so bumpy and terrible and like there's there's crevices and like cracks and stuff if I get in one of the cracks and I'm going downhill it goes it's so dangerous I can handle going downhill and uphill and stuff but like with the cracks in the road it pulls me to the side and it just feels so unsafe I'm getting I'm trying to get into Denver today so I came here and visited my sibling we went to the beach, we went to this really, 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 really cool cyberpunk sci-fi exhibit. It was amazing. Got sushi. Um, it was nice, it was nice because I haven't seen them for years. And then I had to come to a decision of what next? I think I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> I feel like before it's come, I should make that the intro. Uh, I think I'm gonna go home. <laughs> home. Because I had an idea. I'm like, what if I go to Canada? What if I go home first and see if I can get the Jeep home? If I can get the Jeep home and fix it up, because I'll have a garage and everything, maybe I can go to Canada for a little bit and then international out of there. I don't know. It was kind of what I thought of yesterday <laughs> because I was like, well, maybe I'll explore Colorado more, but the roads here and everything, it's just so stressful. Like, I'm not even sure this Jeep can make it. I don't know. I, I don't have the most faith in Yuki and it. I don't know if I have reason to or not, but I just don't. And it's stressing me out. So I just need to try and make it home. It's just very, very high mileage and a lot of potential for a lot of things to go wrong. So it's too hot to keep driving around Colorado. I just need to get it home and I don't want to push my luck anymore because I've pushed it quite far. We've been out here for months, but I don't want to go the, the Kansas route. I'm going to try to go Nebraska route, see what happens. Oh, Nebraska. <laughs> It's early, it's like five something, but I'm like, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna drive and drive and drive and try and just get there. I'm not trying to make a trip out of this. I'm not trying to make this up. It's not the journey. I'm just trying to get to the destination in this segment of Victoria's travels. And I think it's good to drive super early so then it won't be too cold. I mean, too hot. Okay, let's 
just, we're still in Colorado. We're gonna make it to Nebraska for sure today. Goodbye, Colorado. so hot here. Uh, I didn't experience this the last time when I drove here because it was cooler. I know this is just like a humid heat. Like I'm just like, I feel so clammy because I've been in the West for so long that the heat there is just, I don't know, it just feels so much cooler at night. But I, just, I have this fan. A lot of you ask like how I sleep at night, but sleeping at night has not been a problem in the, the desert because it gets real nice and cool and it's nice and dry but here I'm in Iowa now I drove all the way through Nebraska which I never thought it was going to end oh this is the most I think I've ever driven like 12 or 13 more hours it's like a sauna but in the worst way Yuki's doing great like no problems she's really good on the highway my stamina is waning I'm so tired of driving I miss the west I hate the midwest with a passion I hate it and I'm sorry if you live in the Midwest. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. I didn't even consider, this wasn't even a consideration. I am sweating. I'm just, it feels like that one episode of um, Ace Ventura, he's in that rhinoceros. He's just sweating and he can't get out. That's what it feels like. I think I'm gonna try to drive through the night, but I know that I can't drive anymore, but I cannot sleep in this. I don't wanna pay for any more hotels. A humid, humid sleep. This drive is absolutely brutal. I'm trying to get this done in two days, but it's not possible. I'm gonna get there tomorrow, hopefully. But my back hurts so bad, I have slightly like ibuprofen. This is not natural. We're in Illinois now. I've lived in the Midwest before. I'm actually gonna go through that area in Indiana. <laughs> It'd be so weird. I don't really find the Midwest and the East that pretty. I know people would disagree, but I'm, not, I'm just not as much into it because I grew up here. I'm used to it and it's flat and green. Easy to drive on roads. Good signal, uh, cell service. <laughs> but it's just for me, it's so monotonous and I'm just trying to get through it. It's the humidity is killing, but um, everything's going good. It's just, it's unnatural to be driving for so long. It would be really nice to have someone to switch off driving with. Make it go a lot faster, but it's just me. So I just have this mindset now of like, she can't break down, I have to get home. I'm too tired to deal with anything. So it's just gonna happen. And I think it was the right decision to, to drive home at this point while Yuki's still running and stuff. And I'm just, I'm really grateful that we're getting there and everything is going fine. Right, well, hopefully I'll see you back home. I don't know how much more I'm gonna vlog. We are in Ohio. We're just like four hours out. We're back in good old Pennsylvania. It's been a few days since I've been back, kind of recouping, resting. It's a long drive. I also got these things after I left as well. So I want to put these on, but also I uh, ha have some off-road lights I also want to put on. There's a lot of things that I want to do. I just want to open this real quick. We'll, we'll do all this stuff in the next video. 
Oh. Mom, was there another box? Well, this isn't a roof rack, but. Oh, I know what this is. This is the tent. This <laughs> what? No, I thought it was a green screen, it's not. Pop up. <laughs> you just shower in there. It's nice. I didn't think that was a roof rack. It was way too light to be one. I mean, maybe someone either lied that they got it or it just didn't, I don't know. So I also got these side window sunshades for the car. I, since I lost my drone in the last video, um, I was sad that I didn't have one to even just practice with. So I got like a $50 drone off of Amazon. The quality is not gonna be good enough, I don't think, to put any of the footage in my videos. But I wanna keep practicing flying a drone until I can get a new one. So I thought I would just see what this was like. Cause if I crash this one, you know, it's not a big deal. Oh. <laughs> I'm flustered and it's really hot. Okay, <laughs> the battery there. It's so light. This little camera. This remote control that does not come with batteries. I have to set this all up. We'll see, I'll, I'll insert the some footage of flying this right now and see how bad the quality is. So the next video will we'll get Yuki back up to par. This is gonna be a bit of a learning curve because I didn't really read the directions very well. Um, Oh, okay. Up, up, up. Oh, this, <laughs> this drone is just really, really uh, lightweight. But it's actually not bad. Like, oh, the video is very choppy. Let's record. Wow, it's really hard to control. Good practice though. <laughs> the video is so bad. I don't know if you can see that, but just floats in, in the sky like I'm not even doing that I'm definitely gonna crash land it I feel all right we'll try to we'll try to land it this will be interesting <laughs> it just like bounced it's good for practicing and I'm gonna keep practicing with it it's good for practicing because it's so terrible you know, I could do better with my flying skills and this is why I got it this is why Oh. <laughs> My little baby. Anyways, that has been me returning back to Pennsylvania for the moment. I do have some plans in my mind of what I want to do next and it either involve it either way it involves going to a different country, whether it be Canada or overseas. So it's just gonna take some thinking of how I'm gonna do it. But I need to fix up Yuki first, so we'll do that first. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, I'll see you in the next video. I love you very much. Stay extraterrestrial. Bye.